For this week's Sim Racing Tip Fridays, I have a tip that's both for attacking and defending. You can use it for either, and that would be using the outside line coming into a chicane to defend or claim a position. Right, so we've got three Lambos coming down the main straight at Monza down to the first turn. I'm the grey Lambo on the bottom there. We've got three cars, so you'd think the inside cars have the advantage here of claiming the, the position by the first turn, which actually is very possible. But if you're if you break really late on the outside and you just give them just enough room. You can swing the car and you have the inside line for the second part of the chicane. You just have to focus on getting a really good exit and maybe to make a more defensive line on the exit to prevent them from overshooting you coming out of the exit of the chicane. But if you pull it off like that, just break late while being on the outside, you'll run deeper into the turn than the, the inside car and if you swing it in, don't break too late, you should claim the inside line by the second part of the chicane. Same with right here did the same thing, stayed on the outside, broke a little later and kept on the outside then had the inside for the next turn had a slightly defensive line on exit and that allowed me to keep my position you do have to be extra careful though because if the car on the inside does break really really late then they possibly might run into you which would be forcing you off the track one thing you do need to make sure of is that you're either right alongside the car or you're ahead because if you're a little bit behind and you're going for this kind of move we might end up in a situation with a certain F1 race we had last year. And you should only really be doing this move on chicanes with a little bit of straight in between them. If you're doing very small or tight chicanes like the one at Donington or the one at Imola where it's very small and there's no real straight in between the actual turns where you're kind of just cutting through it, it's not going to work. You need a little bit of space between the two turns of the chicane to swing around and pull around the outside. If it's too small, too tight, it's just it's going to slow you down more than anything but some examples of good chicanes to do this in would probably be obviously those two at monza that i showed you can do it on the final chicane at spa it's a little bit more tricky because it's tighter but you can do it i've done it before and another usable chicane being the club chicane at silverstone just chicanes with a bit of space in between them bad examples of chicanes that you shouldn't really do this in are the tight chicanes at older i mean you can make it work but you do have to be ahead to make sure you have the line for the turn and actually the final chicane at Zolder is a good option, it's a bit bigger than the other ones, you can sneak in front by using the outside line there. Yeah, the, the Donington chicane and the Emily chicane, they're just too small, you can't really do it there. You can't do it at the final Barcelona chicane, it just doesn't, doesn't work there. The Hungara ring chicane doesn't really work because of the way that the previous corner leads into that chicane, you're never really close enough to make an overtake there, but by all means go for it if you're close enough. And it is a bit of a tight chicane so I wouldn't suggest it. I'm sure you get the idea by now. Just the bigger chicanes, the ones with a little bit, bit of space in between, throw it around the outside so you have the inside line for the next turn. And of course, by doing that you're going to give yourself a lot tighter of an exit. It's going to be more difficult to get a good exit out of the chicane. But if you drive a little bit more of a defensive line, kind of like I've shown in one of my defensive tip videos in the past, I should link it up there. If you follow that move coming out of the chicane, to block the person behind you from getting a good exit, you should be alright. If there's a long straight that follows that chicane, you might have a little bit more of, a, of an issue, but still, just give it a go. I always use the outside line coming into the first chicane at Monza. Almost every single time it's worked for me, staying around the outside, giving myself the inside line for the next turn. I almost always come on top when using that line. You just have to make sure you give yourself the most solid exit that you can. That's today's tip, hopefully it'll help you in your races in the future. Make sure you go check out simrace247.com with all the, the latest sim racing news and updates. And I'll catch you all again soon.